Hey chefs, how's it going? Welcome to Sweet Murray's Kitchen. Uh, before we do our inaugural video, we have to, uh, well, we have to do a whole video. The Mommy and Gracie show I like to do them, so uh, in order to get the kitchen up and running, we needed some tools. Uh, when we uh, cleaned up, uh, when we cleaned out the old kitchen, I threw away all my cooking stuff. So, uh, I had a birthday last week, and uh, I saved up my birthday money, so I bought myself some new cooking tools. So uh, I figured maybe we'll share those with you and show you what I got. Uh, we had a discussion uh, over at the Bed Bath & Beyond about the use of uh, ceramic cookware and non-stick and uh, Teflon. So we did have a little bit of a learning uh, curve and uh, re-education of the things that we thought of were true and were not true. So uh, we were talking about uh, you know, when do we use non-stick? We do use non-stick uh, more than uh, more than usual, uh, the Teflon coating. Uh, but uh, the people at Bed Bath and Beyond were asking about you know what do you cook with? Uh, typically, and uh, the rules you know are flexible, but typically the rule of thumb is we don't use any oils. We don't use any olive oils, we don't use any butter if we're using a non-stick pan. Uh, the idea is to use lower heat and let that uh, do the cooking. Any searing, we would be using stainless steel or uh, we would use cast iron. So that is a, a, a tidbit of information. So what we did was we went and got ourselves some new uh, omelet pans. So we'll be doing uh, our first video will be breakfast. So that's what we're going to be doing. But in the meantime, you need new omelet pans. So I went and got myself some Calphalon omelet pans. So we have the nice eight inch pan. That's a, that's a heavy pan and uh, a 10 inch. So uh, this is good for intruders. You, you know, defend your home with those. Uh, so we've got an eight inch pan and a 10 inch pan. Uh, and those would be good for uh, doing omelets. Uh, something else that they recommended, and a lot of times you know, you're not, uh, people don't have enough room, so they're sticking them in the drawers. And uh, something that they recommended and it's relatively inexpensive, it was about $8 or so, is to use these nests. And these would go, well, essentially what they'll do is they go inside, inside here. So when you put this one in here, your cooking gets, your cookware and your, uh, your non-stick doesn't get all scratched up and jacked up. So. That was a pretty good idea because that's how we'll be uh, storing our cookware. So, again, the idea of non-stick is to reduce the use of any of the oils and the butters. Because what happens is from the heat, the oil and the butter get inside this coating and it stays there. And that's what gets it all funky. Uh, these are not indestructible. You, uh, a lot of times, and I, I make the same mistake myself, is after I done cooking, I put it under the water to get it you know, to help clean it. That's not good. You're taking the temperature on the on the pan from one high extreme to a low extreme, and that's not good. That uh, destabilizes the uh, coatings. That's why these coatings get all uh, all funny and all flaky and all bumpy after a while. In fact, I just threw one. I just threw one out. I'll I'll see what I'll do about uh, pulling it up, and I'll show you what happens. After. The next thing was the main. Also, when you're using any of the stainless steel, I mean, when you're using any of the uh, the non-stick, you always use non-metallic. So you're using plastic. I mean, most of you are using you use your plastic tongs, use your plastic spoons. That way, you don't uh, damage the non-stick non coating. So if I'm going to do anything in the uh, bowls or. Any, any mixing of any sauces, we'll use we'll use a rubberized and the rubber is rubberized. Uh, you know they're much better now. It's not as they're more durable, heat resistant. Sometimes silicone. Again, use this it doesn't 
do any damage to the, the coating. So, we picked up something that, oh gosh, ever since I've been cooking, something I've always wanted, and uh, I decided to do that for my birthday, and I went and did it. And we went and got ourselves, this upside down, of course it's upside down. Ah! We went and got ourselves the stainless steel cookware that I've always wanted. So this was a birthday present, and I want to thank everybody who, uh, all my friends and family who contributed and uh, was able to get this, uh, this set for my, myself. So let's open this up and I'll show you what you get. This is the 13 C set. It's uh, stainless steel. And, of course, everything's all wrapped up. <laughs> uh, the thing about the stainless steel is there's multiple layers uh, throughout, not just the bottom of the pan, but also along the sides. That way, the heat is transferred and uh, the things get hotter quicker. Also, if things get hotter quicker, you don't have to use such a high heat. You know, we kept, keep on talking about you know, the ovens have knobs. So I learned from Emerald back in the day, okay? The ovens have knobs, so you don't always have to use high, 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 high heat. Medium heat, and then you could always make it a little hotter. So, uh, they start you off with some lids. Lids are good, but you need to pop. So, just one of the saucepans. I mean, this thing is all stainless steel inside here. Uh, they were talking about when we, when we make marinara sauces with tomatoes. Uh, tomatoes, the acids, uh, will tend to wreak havoc with the nonstick coatings, and that'll help break it down, especially when you take the acid from the tomatoes and add heat to it, it just makes things worse. So I just got photobombed by, by, by my assistant here, Gracie, from the Mommy and Gracie show. Hey, you gonna help me make some eggs when we do the, uh, the first video? Yes. All right. So, so they, they hook you up with a sauce pot, and then we'll use that when we're making our marinara sauces. And of course, they give you a list and all that good stuff. So we'll keep on. So that's, that's a medium size lid. Okay. Well, more on that later. So, more lids. But a nice clear lid. The nice thing about this, too, is I could use this lid, and I could also use it on the non-stick, so they are interchangeable. So let's, let's clear this up. Ooh, gotta, i got to read my care instructions. Always read that. All right? We're making it an investment in our cooking, new cookware, so you want to have it last you know, for as long as you want it to. And it's just, just by taking care of things. Uh, more lids. I think they gave me extra lids. I don't know. <laughs> so we got more, we got more lids. So another lid. So this is a, a how many piece? A 13 piece, so they give you three lids. So <laughs> another lid. <laughs> what do you know? So they give you four lids. So we're gonna actually have uh, nine cooking vessels and uh, three, four lids. So here's the here's the first lid on the small saucepan. Uh, that would be good when uh, for us when it's pizza night and I gotta make one can's worth of uh, marinara sauce. So we'd be using that also to heat it up go from there. Next thing you know we got a, a small stock pot so this would be good for uh, cooking a probably a pound of spaghetti or any pound of pasta. And that's typically what we do here at the, at the kitchen so there we go. So we can take that and we find, find the lid that goes with that. Oh nope not that one. Let's try this one. Bingo! All right we're, we're, we're cooking with gas now. Let's put a little plastic on it. On the countertop. You like the new countertops? I think they're pretty cool. I really like the way the kitchen is uh, coming. We've got a few odds and ends we still have to finish, but we have a serviceable kitchen and uh, very, very soon, in fact, within a few days, you're going to see the first video and that's going to be a breakfast video and that is going to be dedicated to my friend Helen L who, who discovered where Sweet Willie came from. So. Onward, another fry pan. Again, this is stainless steel, okay? So, stainless steel, many plies, aluminum inside. 
And this is what we're going to do with our searing. If we're going to sear a steak, if we're going to sear, do any quick cooking where you want something brown and you're going to use an olive oil or butter or any other type of oils. The other thing, these are also oven safe, so you can stick these in the broiler to finish things off. And we'll be doing that as well. I think, does it? Yeah, lid works with that too. What do you know? We got lids. We got lids for everything. We got. So they pack these up really, really nicely, and I can't say enough how the stuff is real heavy, real cool, and I got another lid. <laughs> so. We'll, we'll get all this together. We'll find it. Now we're getting into the pans. So, nope, this is a, this would be called a, a saucier. So this would be a nice pot for, again, for cooking a bag of rice or uh, more more than one can of uh, sauce. We, we would use one of these. So I am going to, let's, let's see, let's try this lid. No, that lid's too small. I mean, that lid's too big. Let's see if we can get the right size lid to match the. Uh -uh. uh oh. I think that this interacts and interchanges with this 8 incher. So, there we go. That's where those two come from. I got two lids. And I'm not afraid to use them. So, ooh, here's another. Here's another loaf. I think if we were going to use that, do some cutlets or something. It's another good fry pan, and I know this is going to use. No! Boom! There's our lid. That goes with that. We are cooking with gas. We actually are now with the new oven. You like the new oven? I think it's pretty cool. And oh, wow, we still got some more things in here. Oh boy, 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 boy. This is a, I think they call this a Dutch oven. <laughs> a Dutch oven. The Dutch oven! We're going to do the Dutch oven here. So, boom, the lid that goes with that. Uh, small roasts, uh, casseroles we can cook in this because it is oven safe so we can actually bake in this. So, we've got our Dutch oven. We've got our big stock pot. And last but certainly not least, no, oh, no, wait, we got more. But oh, wait, there's more. We've got another skillet. I think this is a 10 inch skillet. And we've got that going on for us, which is nice. This is about 25, 25 centimeters. And that's, uh, through our map, that is, that would be uh, 10, 25, 10, yes, 25. There's 25 millimeters, no, 25 millimeters to a, an inch. So, and then, and I think this is it. This is the this is the last one. This is the uh, the 12 inch scale. Wow, they really give you a lot of stuff here. So we've got that. All right. Now, one of the cool things about shopping at Bed Bath and Beyond is they give you these coupons from time to time in the mail. So uh, when we uh, when we went to purchase this, uh, somebody one of the nice ladies there were able to get me a uh, get you a coupon. So uh, we were able to get get this on on sale if you would. Uh, another thing what they also did was uh, put together a uh, an extra bonus gift. Uh, I was able to get a gift card and one more item. They gave they gave me this last thing which is a 12 inch nonstick. So this looks like a paella pan almost. So I guess if you want to do that, but I already got a paella pan from Miss Robin for my birthday. And that was really nice of her to do that. But this is uh, very similar. This is all, this is the anodized one. So that was a nice little, that was a nice gift. So that works on that. What other, what also was cool is that same lid. We'll work on this big guy. And this guy over here. So this non-sticker and this non-sticker. So, so we're all set. So I'd say we uh, we've uh, we're pretty well situated here. Uh, we're well well stocked. We have plenty of tools, uh, and that's it. So that's uh, 
that's the, I guess you would say, the whole video or the introduction to the cookware that we're going to be using. I want to thank everybody for watching, and the next time you see us, we're going to be doing our first cooking video using the new kitchen. So, for all you folks out there, all you chefs out there, kids, parents, I want to thank you for subscribing. And those who you have not, and you want to be able to get any alerts on any of the new things that we're doing here, don't forget to subscribe. Those that already have subscribed, thank you very much. And those who have already subscribed, tell your friends. We'd love to be able to get to 5,000 subscribers by Labor Day weekend. So, once again, I want to thank you all for watching. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.